All right, folks, so this is just going to be a quick video where we talk about the MFJ1106. It's a six-way DC power distribution unit that utilizes Anderson power poles. It's a pretty handy thing to have in your ham shack. Before we get started, I did want to say that MFJ contacted me, and uh, the end result was they sent this device or these devices uh, to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. I'll provide a link below where you can learn more about this device, but here we are on MFJ's website and they got some optional accessories, but here you can see just in a description exactly what it is. Um, you know, it's an inexpensive compact, low profile DC distribution platform. Uh, as I mentioned, it uses Anderson power poles. And what's important is you pay attention to the capacity, which is 30 amps. It's about two and a quarter inches high, about three inches deep and one inch thick. And then uh, here are the instructions, which are pretty simple, so you really shouldn't need these. But I did want to point out that there is a warranty that uh, is a 12-month warranty that is not void if you open this thing up and tinker around with it. MFJ is like that with most of their products, which is really cool. I wish more uh, manufacturers were, were like that, you know, supporting self-repair and things of that nature. Okay, let's take a quick look at the box. And here you can see the part number uh, description and that the uh, device is proudly made in the United States. Inside the box is some packing material and a set of Anderson power poles, seven of them to be exact. Uh, these are the 30 amp variety, and that's awesome. You can never have enough Anderson power poles. Let's take a quick look at the unit itself. So you can see that uh, it's put together pretty well. Some of these uh, power poles are a little crooked. I suppose you could take it apart and uh, straighten them out if you wanted. I tested all of them for continuity and uh, it worked fine. Here is the inside of one and you can see these power poles are soldered directly to a PCB. The PCB has the part number on it as well. And uh, it's some pretty rugged material that they use here. This one uh, doesn't look like it's got a very clean solder job, so you could always touch that up if you wanted to. But uh, it works. I plugged into it and I ran some juice through and I did not have any problems. Now I use power poles for just about everything in my shack. So here we're going to test this out by plugging in the um, BioNO. Uh, I think this is a four and a half amp hour lithium ion battery. And BioNO products are great, by the way. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect a little radio right now. This is just a little June Tai 6188. It is a dual band 25 watt radio and I keep it around for tests like this uh, on the bench. I did have it mounted in my car for a few years and uh, it worked great. But the uh, thing I want to mention here is, is that I put power poles on just about everything. It makes it very easy and convenient to connect and disconnect your devices. This is a small power pole adapter. I call it the juice box that a buddy of mine helped me design and uh, we put together that has a USB out. So there is a buck converter in there that takes 12 volts in and then converts it down to five volts. And then what I wanna do is I wanna test that out and just put some additional juice, power, watts, uh, amps through this uh, 1106 MFJ distribution unit. And uh, that doesn't seem like it wants to plug in, but we're gonna, we're gonna get it. Okay, yep, we got it. And then uh, I can turn this battery on and begin charging that. So that's really just going to wrap it up. I want to say thanks to MFJ for sending this out. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching. And uh, I guess the lesson here is, is that power pole your shack. It'll make you happy.